What's happening, YouTubers? Big Tuna here out here at Headwaters Junction's maintenance facility. Got this bad boy up and running last night, and I figured I'd uh, make a video about it today or this evening. Um, real pleased with it, even though it is a, a cheaper um, air compressor pump. Uh, it builds air like crazy. I'm, I'm real pleased with it. It's going to serve our purpose just fine. Um, I uh, let it run up and uh, kick off. I got it set at 125. PSI and um, I've lost about 10 pounds in a 24-hour period can't complain I mean, I wish it wouldn't lose nothing at all, but it is what it is on that part But uh, this is all new as you can tell new bearings in the motor um, Shaft bearing rear bearing Obviously, this is all new along with the drain uh, They didn't have a drain on it, which I looked inside the tank when I had the uh, check valve apart and cleaned up in there it looks pretty decent in there so just figured i'd uh, let everybody give a heads up on that one so if you're looking for a cheap air compressor head harbor freight has them um how long is it going to last i don't know i took an additional year warranty out on it i'm gonna you know maintain it like they say and uh, see how far it goes but anyway the reason i'm out here finally cuckoo kachoo i got done with this side so far it's all in and all welded look at that i am so pleased how this turned out um wish i was able to use uh, full pieces yeah, there again no that was not a mistake uh, i'm just trying to utilize all the steel that i possibly can so that way i don't have a bunch of drops and um spending more money but uh yeah there it is and i am quite pleased how it turned out only thing I got to do here additionally is when I get this portion of it done over here let me turn the light around for you when I get this portion done I'm going to measure the existing Z braces uh, right there there and here um, all the way across and then continue them on like they were originally over onto this newer side over here so oof finally glad to be done with this side um, with all the uh, ripping out and replacing and everything I've got uh, I believe 36 hours in this side you know that's ripping up the floor uh, making it right and then going through so I'm hoping since I don't have to deal with this part like this um, it may go a little bit faster I do have a cross member like I have spoken about in other videos that I have to uh, have to replace the, the stub of it's right there and it goes straight across over against the wall uh, i'm just going to uh, cut it out of some quarter inch plate and uh, have it formed that way so that that way that one's back in there where it goes but it's odd it seems like the cross member here is straight across and then when you get to here as you can tell they're staggered there's one there and then there's one you can kind of see it over there, just up underneath there. And I don't know what the deal is, and I don't get why there's a sub cross member here, and then another cross member, and then real close to it, another cross member. So I don't know if that's what I'm going to find over here on this side or further the way down. But I am going to uh, come up to a cross member one of these cross members I'm going to rip this out and see where the next one is and if I have to cut back into this original floor a little bit more that's what I'm going to do uh, just so I can have something to secure to on that I'm, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it but if I'm going to just um, take another tube and butt up against it I'm, I'm not sure exactly I guess I'm going to have to uh, cross that bridge I don't know if I'm going to but something up against this one to the way the original floor has something solid and then I can mate up to this. I'm not sure yet. Uh, but anyway, I've had a couple comments on uh, the two other videos that I have posted and uh, I do appreciate the encouragement. Uh, you know, the one, uh, one individual said, well, I'm not much of a help, but uh, good job, keep up the work. And uh, I, I need that. Uh, that. That keeps me looking forward other than getting this done and knowing my name is going to go on it. Um, when it's set in uh, downtown Fort Wayne but uh, if you would please like share and subscribe on that uh, throw up some comments I do my best to uh, get back with you on that 
another short little video here but they're all going to be a little short and then as soon as i'm done with this i'm going to come out and be outside here of the car and start on that project pretty much from head to tail uh, you can kind of see where the rust has puckered this out a little bit in there and i can feel some rust and right here 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 are tack welds uh, that are holding it on there and that's why it's puckering like it is you can kind of get a better idea you can see it how it's waving but it's going to be pretty much the full length of the car um, they said possibly not i don't know i don't know if i'm going to leave this section where it's still good but it's awful wavy right there i want to see what they have to say on that deal if they want me to go through and uh, and cut it out to where it's all straight and good but it is what it is and i'm still plenty pleased with that welder it's done amazingly well uh, for me so until then everybody have a peaceful wonderful and safe evening out there this is big tuna and i'll catch you later peace